Hey, top of the morning to you. Welcome back to the channel, y'all. It's your boy, Kenny, bringing y'all another trailer reaction, man. Y'all know the deal. Black Panther 2, Wakanda Forever, it's coming out real soon, y'all. November, man, November is dropping. Let me get my phone out here, get my calendar going just to make sure I don't get the date wrong. It's November 11th, right? Nope. Yes, November 11th, this thing is dropping. The highly anticipated sequel. I have been hyped. Y'all know I'm a big Black Panther fan. If you're new to the channel and you're just checking out this trailer reaction, we love the MCU around here, you know what I'm saying? We give it its criticisms when it deserves it, you know what I'm saying? But we are big MCU fans ever since day one, man. Saw Iron Man in the theaters when it dropped, 08. So, been there from the beginning. Saw Black Panther when it dropped, man, back in 2018. Was hyped for that. Dug the character ever since the comics. So, I'm highly anticipating this. But the one downside to Wakanda Forever, y'all already know the deal. R.I.P. Rest in Paradise to our boy, Chadwick Boseman. Unfortunately, he is not going to be in this film. But I think this is going to be a beautiful tribute to the legend, to the great, the late great Chadwick Boseman, man, T'Challa. And I think they're going to work it into the story in such a beautiful way. So with no further ado, let's get into the Black Panther Wakanda Forever trailer 2. Let's get into it, y'all. Yeah. So he's gone, man. Only the most broken people. Excuse me. Can be great leaders. His people okay. did not call him General or King. They called him Kukul Khan, <laughs> the Feather Serpent God. Killing him will risk eternal war. He's coming for the surface world. What you whisper, they have lost the protector. Now is our time to strike. Show them. So, that was a pretty damn cool trailer, man. I gotta say. I gotta say. That was a damn good trailer. Didn't give us too much more in the plot department, like too much further than the last one. We do know he's coming from the surface world, so a little bit of that Aquaman kind of um, Ocean Master kind of vibe going on there, but I'm sure there's a whole different reason and probably a lot more development on why Namor wants to do it. But he has said, the actor has said in interviews that it is more of an anti-hero situation. is isn't like a true blue villain, and it appears to be that he's not the big bad of the movie. or her, He kind of said something like that or kind of um, alluded to that. So we'll see how that pans out. You know, we got Dr. Doom rumors flying all around. You know your boy right here. I would love to see it. I'm a big Doom fan too. But first and foremost, we also got the big shot of the new Black Panther at the end of the trailer, man. That's got to be a woman right there. I don't know. I ain't seen no dudes that are that necessarily that slim in the MCU. They're in that cast of characters because M'Baku definitely is a much bigger dude than that. Is a much bigger person than that. So I'm thinking, I'm thinking Shuri. I like Nakia. But what says you? Who do you think is going to be in the suit, y'all? Because it's looking like Shuri or Nakia to me. Maybe Okoye. That could be an outside choice. But it's looking like Nakia or definitely Shuri. But 
I would love to hear y'all's theories down below. Namor's looking great. I love all the effects there. The action looks incredible. Looks like Ryan Coogler, Coogler oh my gosh, just butchered it. Ryan Coogler definitely looks like he's still in the zone and has a great handle on the, on the world of Wakanda in the MCU. You know what I'm saying? They said this is going to be one of the longest MCU movies, apparently, too. Two hours and 40-some minutes. So let's hope it's got that breakneck pacing like the last film, man, and they could just keep us along for the ride for the whole runtime, man. But I am excited. Definitely dug the trailer. Didn't blow me away or anything like that, but it's a damn good trailer. I love the emotion. I love the tone. I love the vibe. So that's what I'm really excited about. You know what I'm saying? This doesn't look like no romper. It's going to be a lot of fun. This looks like this is going to be a, definitely a little bit more of the Empire Strikes Back. I know everybody says that with the darker sequel, but it looks like the Empire of the Black Panther films. So it's going to be so interesting to see where they go with this. Love seeing Angela Bassett more in the forefront as well as his mother. That is incredible. I love seeing her get more in the forefront as well. And hopefully we get more Lapita as Nakia as well and all that stuff. But everything's looking incredible. I'm digging it. But love, I need to hear from y'all down in the comments below. Let us know. And if you're just joining the channel, make sure you click that subscribe on your way out, man. We would love for you to be a part of our wonderful, positive fandom frequency community. It's growing every day by the hour, by the minute, it almost seems like. And much love to each and every one of you that have been checking out and responding and getting in the comments and loving the videos and watching the videos. This is nothing without y'all. And until next time, make sure you stay tuned. Don't sleep. Peace out, y'all. Much love. And Wakanda forever.